Hello, my name is Don and welcome to episode 7 of Motorsport Manager here on my channel with our creator team, the Don Racing Team. Championship wise, we are doing okay I think. Uh, we are 8th in the constructors. Um, the top 3 are miles ahead of everyone. Uh, we are really trying to be in this battle for 6 down to 10, well 6 down to 9 because we are well clear of Predator. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, other than that, there's not really much to talk about, but we're starting right at the end of last episode is again. Uh, we will accept this interview. Can't take on bow tank and have a look. Um, we'll maybe look into it one day. Is not enough to wear, but that wasn't really a worry. Okay, so gearboxes. So we're we done an iteration last time, which I think was just reliability of that and that, which wasn't that great. Um, so what we'll do this time is we'll do that, that, and that, I guess. I mean, it's not great. <laughs> it's not great by any stretch. Costs a million. Done well before the next race. Reasonably reliable. Is that maybe the option that we go for? Yeah, I think what we're going to do is do this. Because um, that gives us a bonus on whatever tyre we're on. And that, uh, but I'm worried, wondering do we just go for what we can? No, we're going to go for this. This is for this season, and then we'll do one risky for next, I think. Car repair complete. Scout report finished as well. Rafael Perez. Markability plus five. So our markability is actually only ten. By the fact that she's a four-star driver, I'm just going to ignore um, because I just don't think we can get any better. Okay, we can take those brakes off and go maybe f six five maybe. No, we want that gearbox. Where's that gearbox we just did? But no, let's just go here. Because that gearbox is fairly reliable. Um, we'll take this one off, put that one on. Because that's so important to get that good gearbox right now. We'll get rid of that notification. Car repair finished. Sponsors. I have two available sponsors. Uh, so that's 100,000 per race. So ignore that just now. We'll wait on another one coming in. Andre's birthday. Don't care. He's away at the end of the season anyway. That should be the last pit, uh, pit stop. That should be the last. Um, got speeding. Plus five marketability. Doesn't change anything. I thought it was another sponsor that came through there. It wasn't. Oh, come on, one more sponsor. I want something that's at least 150,000 per race. Um, because that matches what we were on previously, but I'm kind of hoping for higher. Uh, new vote started. I said I was going to abstain this, so we'll abstain. Not that worried about the pit stops. It's the same for everyone. Uh, and we will have the more expensive pit crews next season. So, looks like there's going to be lots of rule changes next season. There we go. There's our last one. That's awful. That's awful. So we're going with HX Telecoms. It's a little bit of money up front, and the same deals we were on previously, so we could still be a slightly marginally profitable team. Uh, right, so let's get reliability working on that. And we'll take that off and go for that, actually, because that's going to be better than anything else that we've got design new parts one more gearbox it will be for next season so this one this one I'm hoping this transfers over to next season I guess you just do reliability minus 10 it's actually any better 25 74 yeah it's quite a bit better so okay 
Uh, so, and we hope this transfers over to next season. And okay, I've actually got one more. What's our one more going to be? Hmm. It's going to be interesting to see if this does transfer over next season. We've got one more anyway. So, what do we do? Do we just go for reliability so we've got a more reliable gearbox at the start of next season? I think that might be the option. That highlights how poor our options for gearboxes have been. The fact that we're hitting three greens. One of them's risky. One's reliability and one's minus red zone. <laughs> um, and that's our last expenditure for this season, I think. Does mean that if we don't finish ninth or above in a number of races, though, we will go into debt, but that's fine. We've got four races left, so it'll only be about ha half a million. So it's about 400,000 debt each race. Sponsor wise, we're seeing out the season with these sponsors, apart from Northern, I think, who might end just beforehand. Uh, three races, yeah. So that's one race. That's one that will end before the end of the season. Expect nothing else to happen before between now and the race, which is at Guildford. Yeah, another place where I've had mixed success historically. Finished designing that gearbox. We're doing no more building for the car this season. fit parts just to get rid of the notification really to be honest um, we're not obviously not fitting these risky parts um, let's see if there's anything we can fit though so we've got the brakes that are better it's got quite a lot of performance gain to go in yeah we've got the new engine of course that's on you can take this slightly worse gearbox rather than so you've got a little upgrade other than that everything is where it is so if we, as long as we can get the reliability up on these things which I think we've pretty much done uh, that gearbox needs a bit of work a bit more work uh, engines are fine and that set of brakes needs a bit of work so actually let's just go quickly to improve parts so that can go off that gearbox, uh, did I say brakes was the other thing that I needed reliability for? Yes, I did. So we'll do that, and then we're starting to work on performance of everything for this and next season. I'm probably going to focus specifically on the stuff for next season first because they're our biggest upgrades, rather than look for the stuff for this season. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go do this practice session. I will be back for the Guildford Grand Prix. Welcome back. I kind of continued on because I'm a bit of a dafty. Um, and I forgot. Track temperatures actually meant to be really high, which is unusual for United Kingdom, of course. Uh, decent setups. Um, because track temperatures are going to be high, though, I'm actually tempted to go on a softer tyre. How much fuel can we get? 10 laps. Mm, yeah, let's risk it. We shall risk it on medium, medium. I think Kenny will be less. Yeah, he will. Um, so let's just do 9 actually so 23 divided by 3 would be 8 so yeah we need to do a 2 stopper so with Kenny so 8, 16 and a 7 so that's fine starting on a neutral neutral try and get the 10 laps out of Gomez and 8 and 8 for Kenny for the 2 stopper in fact we're actually going to go for 8 on both Kinney's off to a good start though. It's going to have to be the 816 for both cars actually, I didn't think of that very well. Um, can he take the Predators here? No he cannot. Can he come on son? Got a better gearbox now, you should be able to offend here. In fact the Predators actually broke it so much off the cover can has gone through. Ah, come on. <laughs> come on. 
so bad. Such a bad start for both our drivers here. The fact that we've written off this season is something. But it's so disastrous that we're struggling now. Uh, we've got a lot of potential growth, obviously, and just potential gains from the factory guys. So hopefully that will show big boost towards the end of the season, but I am very concerned. The fact that I've written off this season so early and the cars are struggling. Sabado and Marchetta are both out, so we're not finishing last at least. But even the Predators haven't gone back in or near as fast as us, although they will be playing much more aggressive on their strategy. I'm going to tell him to let Gomez through if Gomez catches up to him. Gomez does have the faster car, he is the better driver in theory, although he's not, I don't think he's actually finished ahead of Kane at all this season. At any stage. Said he was letting his teammate through there, I'm not convinced, I'm pretty sure Andre just went past you naturally mate. Ah, oh, come on Andre, need you to do something. Makes me want to bring out the risky parts, but I'm not going to because it's so much money that we do not have with four races to go. Yeah, of course we're going to have all that money saved next year from not having to develop the engine. Uh, which was probably our, one of our biggest outlays this year was developing that engine. Come on. You we cannot be sitting behind this predator struggling to overtake it every single race. Lap 7. We're going to bring in Kane at the end of the next lap. Finally cleared that predator with Andre Gomez. Finally. <laughs> it's taken a long time. Kane, you're told not to overtake Gomez, although you do look like a faster driver right now. overtake pet um, and you will get another eight laps worth of fuel. Gomez will go on for one more lap because he can. In fact they both could have um, but I'd rather do it this way. Kenny probably couldn't have with fuel but he certainly can't with everything else. going to stick him on the race actually because I feel like he's got the pace to go past Gomez right now. We jump, we jump. His condition is fine. Pet you. It will do the exact same. Eight laps worth of fuel. Park condition is fine. Balance pit stop please. Good pit stop there for Kane. Come on Andre. I should have had you on attack overtake mode for this lap. I didn't because I'm a bit stupid. Uh, making mistakes galore right now. Good pit stop, please. Comes out in 16th ahead of his teammate and Santa Ana. Which is good. I feel like we'd be ahead of Evans if we had attacked. Uh, like we were supposed to, but we forgot to change it because, again, as I said, I'm a bit stupid. Come on. Right now, we have two drivers and a Predator sandwich. We're kind of like a Big Mac. Gomez made his move obvious there, and it was easy to defend. In fact, he's done it again, made his move very obvious. Evan's holding him up a lot. But he does eventually clear the Predator of Evans. Kenny is going to follow through quite quickly. And Santa Ana having a look at his, her teammate as well and clears on. So, uh, come on. Come and now start chasing up towards Rogers. That'd be the ideal thing. You see, we're not getting held up by Evans anymore. The greens are in. Kane's actually not anywhere near as quick as Gomez now, but poor middle stint. Both drivers. Kinney's maybe slightly quicker. No, he's actually half a second slower on that lap. 
um, but certainly looked quicker in stints. In fact, Gomez's lap time was very good even compared to the car in front. So we are closing in on Rogers at a very slow rate, but nonetheless, a rate I am happy with. Brought in four times that last lap, and that was Rogers' fastest lap of the Grand Prix as well. So that's interesting to note. And Kenny has found a little bit more time again, although actually was slow in the what, final sector. Come on, but he was a lot quicker than Gomez uh, Rogers even on that last lap. And he can go longer into the Grand Prix before having to stop again. Uh, can eight, we're actually going to put you on the attack overtake already. And we're bringing you in at the end of this lap to finish the race. Seven laps worth of fuel. We'll go for 699. And a balance pit stop. You can do two laps of overtake mode, so let's go for it. The fact that we're on a super soft tyre right now helps. See if we can get the jump on Rogers. We're catching Bao Tang as well at a decent rate of knots. So if we can jump maybe both of them in this pit stop, that would be absolutely fantastic news. Uh, we'll have plenty of fuel left over. We'll have six laps remaining. We've got to go for that amount of fuel and go medium, medium again. Good pit stop for Kinney. He's out ahead of the Predators and Gerard, who assumes had an incident. Good pit stop, please. Good pit stop. No mistakes, no mistakes. Good pit stop. Can he come out? Can he come out? He's in 12th. He's behind Chu and Tang, and Dreyfus is miles ahead. But we have jumped Rogers, which is good news for us. Whew. Already back up to excess fuel, so going for that little bit less fuel is good. Edda John Sador, the driver who I said I was interested in looking at for next season, is going purple that lap, purple in every single sector. As Arbelor, our teammate, takes the lead. That team looks extremely strong right now. Um, if we can attract John Sadar, I'd be extremely happy if we can afford her. I'm not going to break the bank to bring in a driver just because they are a pay driver, although I think we can pay something like 600 k and still be about break-even on what we're currently paying Gomez because of that pay driver trait. So that's something that we need to look at, but their markability is slightly lower as well, eh, although not by much. So it shouldn't drop our star level too much. Gomez catching up to Chu at a fairly decent rate. I just cannot get past, even on the inside there. Uh, on the outside of the sort of banked hairpin. It's not a banked hairpin at all, it's just a long right hander. But <laughs> nonetheless, you sort of know what I mean. Uh, just This is the issue with Gomez, is he catches up to driver so easily and then fails to get past every time. Um, two laps to go with two laps of fuel. Not really that confident right now in being able to push the car. Gerard has got past Kinney, unfortunately, although not surprising at the same time. Uh, with one lap to go, we're going to go into a high and attack with Gomez, try and get him into 12. It's still going to be a loss money-wise for this race. Um, I got the strategy slightly wrong going as defensive on the first stint, I think. Come on, come on, come on. Nip it. Ah, just too far back. Ah, we had the opportunity for 12 there, but nonetheless, it's okay. 12th and 13th will do for this Grand Prix. Uh, 
Uh, Evan's taken a while to finish. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, must have been just about lapped. And he ran out of fuel actually as well, which didn't help. Um, so it took him forever to get to that finishing line as he coasted up to it. So 13th and 16th for this race, it's not good, but again, more points against the Predator. Also, just thinking for next season, we voted for spec engines this season as our sort of vote. What would you like to see next season? I am thinking, let's try and bring in qualifying. Random Grids are coming in next season. And I look at that, and I look at the likes of Avara series. He's in the... He's got his Archer team up to the World Motorsport Championship, and after the second season, he's fighting for the championship, and I think a lot of that's down to random grids. Um, so I'm curious to what you guys think. Uh, both our drivers have now reached out their potential. That's why there's no stat improvements. Um, imagine Frank Kinney will start actually declining next season um, rather than improving. Anyway guys, that's the end of episode 7 of this series. Thank you very much for watching and I will catch you all next time.